what I used to cut it was a, a mouth or so again. It's kind of hard to cut it with some scissors, so I recommend if you do get this, get a, a nice type saw that'll give you a nice edge. And this looks like it's gonna work perfectly. Right. And depending on your frame, how much room you still have, like from the actual side planks over here, because I barely had enough room almost, I kind of cut it close because we're going to still have to put pixel glass on it and we don't want the pixel glass to be too high off of it because we'll have to use extra silicone to try to seal it up. So depending on how much room you still have on these, on the edge over here, right along in here, the height of it will determine, I mean, if you can use this or not. So that's, if you're following this tutorial step by step, you should have enough room to use one of these flat type wire molds. And with some wire mold, the type that I have, uh, it doesn't come with like a sticky strip on the back that you can actually use to apply it to the, the material you want to attach it to. So what I'm going to do is just use probably two small screws just to hold it down and probably use two screws for this end over here as well. So depending on the type that you get, I mean, you might want to read that first before you buy it, but two screws should work out just fine. So I'm just going to mark where this needs to be because I'm going to have to take this top off to actually screw in my screws here. And then I'm going to just take this up and take the cover off here. Alright, so I have it where it needs to be, and I'm just going to take a, I have two screws that I want to use, uh, the, the round head, so I don't really need a, a washer for them, and I'm just going to take a drill bit and pre-drill my hole into it. I don't want to drill too deep as well. I don't want a hole to come out of the back side of the board, so just be aware of that. All right, and as you can see, I just place one screw right there, and that'll be enough for this end. And I'm just gonna do the same for the other end. I'm just gonna put two screws in it, and that should be enough just to hold it down. Cause I really don't want to experiment with glue. I'm pretty sure it's a type of glue you can probably use but I mean I'm just more concerned of the heat uh, playing a factor into it and if I'm gonna keep it up there for a couple of years I feel more comfortable with screws being in it instead of just glue by itself but some people will put wood glue underneath this before I would have screwed it you can do that as well either way will work again most of this is not exposed to any weather or anything so you don't really have to take too many extra precautions about that so again, I'm going to do the same thing. This probably is something you want to do before you actually put the solar cells on the, on the frame. But again, you just learn as you go. And again, this is probably something you'll want to do beforehand. And don't drill too deep. You just want to give it a nice good start when you start to drill the screw into it. So I'm change my I'm just gonna change my bit right now. Alright, I'm taking my screw here. And just start to drill this in here. One strip down and just just do the same thing to this other strip over here and that'll be it to the actual wire mold. Alright now as you can see I finished running my negative connection through this wire mold here. 
and it's just going all the way down the strip. Coming out, throwing that in, coming out to the bottom end, and it's just going all the way to where I had my holes at. So again, I mean, it looks a whole lot better with this on it. And you'll see it once I'm completely done. I'm gonna close that up as well. So now I can actually start soldering my negative connection to this bus wire right here. All right, now a key element that you wanna keep in mind when you're trying to solder this to the bus wire um, we do want to give this some flexibility. We don't want it really tight. So try to leave yourself a little extra room, a little extra wire here. So again, when this wood starts to contract and everything during the winter and the summer, you'll have, it'll have enough wire to actually move along with the board and won't cause any problems there. All right, and what I actually put here is just a towel spacer just to hold the wire in place while I apply the solder to it. So again, we want to put a nice amount of solder on here. Because we definitely want this to stay down. So I'm just going to add a little bit more solder to it. Because again, I want this to definitely stay down. All right, so again, I'm gonna do the same thing for the positive connection. So I'm bend this probably in half here. Place this inside. I probably need to just trim this off a little bit. top of it, then crunch it together. And that ought to do it. Again, to make sure it's not loose anything tight. Alright, so again I can start to get rid of the side of this to my bus wire. Alright, now what I'm going to do since I finished wiring my, my connection to my bus wires and soldering those down is I went back to Lowe's and I got another wire mode that I'm going to just place on this other end over here. I can show you from an angle. I'm just gonna place it along this strip just to give it a nicer look. It's not, it's not really a purpose for it, but I just liked how this side looked and I wanted to make this side match it as well. So that's optional, but again, I just wanna try to make it look as professional as I can since it is my probably second solo project, so. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just check the voltage and the current one last time before I actually put the pixel glass on it. As this is the point that you really wanna make sure everything's hooked up right before you put the silicon and the pixel glass on top of it. So I would just recommend giving it one last test to make sure everything's hooked up correctly. Hey guys, to speed up the process of me getting the rest of the videos out, just subscribe to this video as it does show me you guys are interested and I try to speed up the process of getting the rest of the videos out as I do have to edit these and I do try to make them interesting. So again, just subscribe to the video and I try my best to get them out a little quicker for you guys.